previously on Dragula. Things happened, nothing set in stone yet. Well, you are leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Yovska. Last week, Kendra and Yovska were in the bottom, and I honestly have no clue who's going home. It could go either way. Hey, uh, nice try on that curse, but uh, I think I look way better without hair. You I like you it. Really, really good. good. Yeah. You, you did, did turn it, turn it turn the I, out. Yeah. I do think it's really funny that Abora got the curse from Erica and ended up looking better than Erica. <laughs> I, I knew that I had to win the fright fee because I did not want my hat getting taken out of evidence. You really think you're a target, though? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so anyway, um... <laughs> back to Eva. To those of you, yeah, please, back to me. It's always been about me. So, honestly, though, like, between Yovska and Kendra, who do you think went home? I just hope that... Kendra comes back, that's I'm acting. My bitch, she has more to show. I just worry because of her shoes. Yeah, they, they said her shoes were the worst of yeah, everybody. Capital L-O-V-E, love watching you perform. Thank you. <laughs> However, your shoes are the worst. Oh! Ew! Interesting artifact. But also, too, I do have a question. Okay. Bush it aside. Some of you guys are playing it very safe. Eva, you were one of those bitches that I did see in the cauldron. You were like, I don't like Kendra's outfit, but I love Yoska's outfit. But <gasps> you went up to Kendra, you were like, oh, but I do love your outfit. I prefer Yovska's look all together. Okay, work. Okay, work. In the cauldron, I saw so much more fire from Kendra. Yeah. Like, she was Absolutely. fighting a little bit more than Yovska was. It really made me sad to hear that she didn't really feel integrated in the cast. Yeah. And so for her to have this second chance now and that she feels like she's a part of this cast yeah. made me happy. Well, I got the chance, <laughs> They told me to take out the trash. Yes, my girl is back. I am excited to see Kendra back, but I really miss Yovska. I'm excited because this bitch is fucking fierce as fuck. I'm fierce. I'm hunty. <laughs> I'm working. <laughs> I do have a couple things to say, huh? Do it. Say, say it. it. I just feel. <laughs> Astrid and Eva, both of you guys said clearly in the cauldron <laughs> that you preferred homegirl's outfit over mine. Mm -hmm. Correct? Yeah, I did. But then, like, on the side, it was like, no, we don't want to see you go home. You're cunt. You're this. You're yeah, that. Yeah, because but those that's things are true. Because that's what happened on my season. Girls would say shit to my face, like, oh, yes, girl. Mm -hmm. And then cut me in the back. Backstabbing me behind my back. Space bitches. This week we're shifting into hyperdrive and blasting off into deep space for our science fiction horror challenge. Uh, so the fry feet this week is the Gravitron Vomitorium. This damn thing is supposed to be spinning and we're supposed to be puking. I don't know what the fuck is going on with this thing, but bring it on. Girl, what? An alien? Girl, yes. That was the single worst experience I've had on Dragula so far, and that's saying something. A little patchouli. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Welcome to deep space, uglies. Me. Yes, bitch, work. Yes, bitch, work. Girl, what? An alien? Me. Yes, bitch. Work. Um, yes, bitch. Work. Well, look how she ate that. Well, look how she ate that. So, 
I'm ready to win a challenge. Well, let me tell you, you'll never get it. It's time to announce the winner of tonight's challenge. Poso, congratulations, darling. You have won the challenge. Yes! Fuck yeah! Party. Holy shit, I won the sci-fi challenge. This is like the dream for me. I cannot believe it happened. However, tonight we are having a science fiction double feature. Victoria, congratulations. You have also won the challenge. Oh, yes, yes bitch. Period, bitch. Period. Gagula. Time for a cocktail. There's always time for a cocktail. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this moment brought to you by Astrid. Okay, so I literally won the first challenge of season four. I'm trying to make all my looks on the same level of that xenomorph, if not higher. I thought a lot about what I wanted out of this competition and what I was searching for coming back here. I have people come up to me all the time and say, Astrid, I didn't know that you are a fun, enjoyable person to be around. I want the chance to tour. I have never left the country. Been top, safe top. The, the, the amount of times I see myself get called a brat on the internet, well, I set that bar really, really low for myself. This is a fucking Titan season. The artistry here, you know, it makes sense, your explanation as to why you're not wearing heels. It, it hurts every time. It fucking stabs me like a knife. And you wouldn't even have to lose the gown because I am not a brat. You do got bratty behavior, though. And, you know, if this was a competition for, like, special effects makeup, like, there's no way I'd be able to compete with somebody like Victoria. Thank you for tuning in again. Well, Kendra, if by some ungodly reason you take your black ass home today, <laughs> I will be highly disappointed because I'm... <laughs> uh, bro, you've been getting a lot in your head lately. You kind of like look just so defeated. You're gonna go home because I feel like you're not 100%. I have to agree with Melissa, Bora. I hate to say it, but like, I don't know if you're like prepared fully. Thanks, everyone. I'm fucking pissed. Fucking cunts. It's exactly what exactly. you're talking about. That's, 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 yeah. whatever. The, that's the I'm ego. Done. I'm done. I'm not gonna, what, whatever. Don't stay here and fucking tell me that shit. The fuck? The fuck? Kendra. Oh.